Our Ryan Korsgaard has been chasing the storm since Monday. He began in Louisiana, made his way to Alabama earlier today, and tonight he's joining us live from Biloxi, Mississippi. Ryan? I'll tell you what, Bill, you can imagine. At times today, it has rained, and then it dried out, and it's starting to rain again. I want to show you the pier right back here in Biloxi. You can see the wind. That is the big problem here tonight. You can see as those waves roll in, not only here, but all along the Gulf Coast. Tropical Storm Cindy fueled the powerful wind and waves along Alabama's Gulf Coast. The waves near Fort Morgan proved deadly. The sheriff in Baldwin County said the surf carried a log ashore that hit and killed a 10-year-old boy visiting from St. Louis. His family was staying at a condo on the beach. High water flooded roads on this barrier island. The wind pushed the waves up and onto the road that leads to the bridge onto Dauphin Island. Josh Walden, his wife and daughter spent the entire week here. The last couple of days, it rained. The day that we we scheduled to act like as a family scheduled to take the ferry over to, over to Gulf Shores, that was when the tropical storm really started to set in. So the ferry got canceled. Once it stopped raining, finally, people came back out to the beach, but the surf, it never let up. We've been saying we were going to do this for 18 years, and so this year we finally decided was our year. And Cindy came too. And Cindy came. We brought an extra girlfriend, you know. They certainly did. Back live now, we in the storm tracker can actually track wind speed. If you take a look at that, you can see right there it is at about 27.9, 28 miles per hour. At times in the last two minutes, it's been averaging about 26 miles an hour. So very strong here along the Gulf. To give you an idea here in Biloxi, exactly where we are, you can see one of the casinos back here. You can imagine they are staying full, but a lot of people certainly not staying on the beach this week. We're live in Biloxi, Mississippi tonight. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank